Guys, just making a short, quick video. We've got a 2002 Lexus IS300, and it's got about 186,000 miles on it, and it actually probably drives. I really enjoy driving this car. It drives pretty darn smooth, considering how old it is. Really tight, no vibrations through the steering wheel. Pretty, really well-built car. Here's the thing. They built the car with a plastic radiator, right? Plastic. And if you look here, it's a VVTi, V6, uh, I don't know. It's got a new battery. Uh, really well taken care of. You can see it's a little dirty underneath. We had a little bit of a mishap here. The radiator cracked. And what happened is it cracked along here. It was about a crack about this long. And I did some research and I wanted to share my results in case you were going to plan on doing it yourself. At first I used traditional JB Weld. And JB Weld, uh, the fan just came on. JB Weld is made for adhering to metal. Well, I put it on, did a really good job, and it bubbled behind it. It didn't adhere very well to the plastic. So what I did is I chipped the JB Weld, and actually you can see some of it. If you look closely around the edges, you see that? That's the little leftovers. And what I did is I cross-scratched with a, a screwdriver across the surface and then crisscrossed the other way and I made a really good surface that this JB Weld, which is made for plastic, uh, would adhere to. And it's uh, it looks wet, but it's actually it's rock hard. And it's a little flexible, which is good. I'm glad it's flexible. It's hard to see. But that means it just gives way to any flexing that you might have down the road. So here's the deal. One whole thing of JB Weld, it comes in a, in a cylinder syringe type. You mix it together, you use the stick provided, and I'll, in the description I'll put the, what I used. And it took me maybe 15 minutes. I cleaned the surface, put it on, and I did three coats. You can't do it all at once because it goops to the bottom. It takes about five minutes to cure and about, I let it rest overnight, but it says on the box an hour to harden completely. So I put a coat on, let it sit. And then I rough that coat up a little bit, put another coat on, let it sit, and then I did the same thing one more time, right? So from the outside, this temporary fix, I'll put in the notes here, I'm gonna drive, I've already driven it around town about 50 miles, and it's still running just fine. We'll take a look at the uh, temperature gauge. It's been sitting in the garage for 15 minutes, and the temperature gauge is still in the middle. 172,626, so there you go. New battery, miles per gallon not going anywhere, but the temperature I want you to see, it's hanging. There's no steam, and before it was steaming out the front, I had a little rag covering it, and we didn't want to drive it, my wife refused to. Now you can get a radiator anywhere between, let me go ahead and turn it off, anywhere between 55 and a few hundred dollars. Um, but if you're not in the budget or you don't really want to fix it just yet, uh, you can fix it with a temporary fix for about $15 and about 15 minutes of work. And so that's what I did. So again, roughed up the surface, scraped it with a, uh, with a screwdriver along the edges to make a crisscross pattern so the adhesive would stick to it, so it'd have something to stick to. Um, and I did three coats, roughed each one up, or roughed the coat up each time. So... 15 minutes, let it sit, 15 minutes, let it sit, 15 minutes, let it sit, and then put it on, let it cure overnight. And then I took a, uh, where is it at? Let me get you what I used for the final uh, curing. And I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. This is what I used, okay? Bars and leaks, radiator stop leak concentrate. And it's like a gold flake inside right so it's it's basically the powder that they sell in the little tubes those little tubes work also if you go to the auto parts store and ask for a tube of the dry radiator stop leak it's four bucks you don't need to pay 20 bucks four bucks or this liquid version which is the same it's just uh, mixed a little bit better i'd imagine anyway um, you can use either or it's the same thing that's what i used for the inside of the radiator and the JB Weld uh, plastic uh, composite compound is what I use for the outside. But those two things combined completely saved the radiator. So far, I'm 50 miles in, and up close and personal, that crack was pretty pronounced. And you cannot see 
any leaking or any water or any stains. So there you have it. If you guys have a problem with a plastic radiator, it doesn't have to necessarily be a Lexus. But for some reason, plastic radiator and it springs a leak and a crack after 170,000 miles and you want to temporarily fix it, well, there you go. Now, I got to clean the engine compartment. It got all up over my car, man. Wish you guys the best of luck. Hope this was short and sweet. And uh, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Good day.